Hello, comrade. Welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It is now February. You last were here in this glorious land uh, in November. Uh, during that time, we have managed to accrue a fairly substantial uh, amount of rubles. I've basically just uh, stuck it in, uh, stuck it in double time speed and let it go. Uh, I did make one slight change uh, whilst you were all away. Uh, I ended up dueling this track up here to the aggregate unloading. Uh, that was pretty darn good. It shrinks to a single track down uh, down here because unfortunately I couldn't get two trucks, uh, two train tracks past the uh, power plant over here, and then we merge back onto the main line. This was done uh, primarily because adding any more uh, tracks to this area, it was just creating absolute chaos. This was area. There's always been issues with tracks crossing over, but they become very very prevalent. Uh, in this area and obviously there's trains tailing back and it's just nothing ever got done So I thought you know what we'll extend it right the way down right the way down and we'll join it up to it will join it up at a point in the track where there's where there's no crossover uh, And you know what it seems to work. It seems to work pretty darn well uh, that by the looks of it was uh, a steel train that just uh, Delivered its load because that is a heck of a lot of steel. Holy cow. That is a large amount of money right there. Uh, yeah, so our steel production has gone through the roof, to be honest. And as soon as we get coal back, I suspect that it will continue to be through the roof. Yeah, this is really, really good. 36 tons of steel waiting to be transported. The coal train is consistently taking full loads of coal all the way along to the steel mill, which is just fantastic. That's really, really good. It's really, really good. Everything is going pretty darn well. We're about to what seems to be crest over uh, a million rubles very, very shortly indeed. Um, and speaking of the city at large, I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. It is sprawling. It's not much of a city at the moment, but that's actually tangential to what I'm hoping to do in this episode. Uh, so we got the city in the center, and then we've got the, you know, corresponding little bits of town and outlying grads uh, that uh, that supply the town with all of the stuff that uh, that they need but everything seems to be running fairly well the only thing that we're not self-sufficient on at the moment the only thing that we're not actually providing uh, our citizens ourselves is clothes everything else we are managing to do I mean food look at this we're fine for food uh, we're not buying in electronics because you know these people are tough they can they can they can deal without electronics, but we do actually want to start producing electronics in a little bit, and that will uh, also form part of uh, maybe part of this episode. Uh, but clothes, yet yeah, we want to try and do clothes. Unfortunately, unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, uh, clothes are only able to be made with the inclusion of chemicals. So we need to research chemicals first. Uh, before we have the ability to do that, but that's okay because that is going to be what we're going to aim to do today What we're going to try and do today is we're going to try and set up Universigrad to be a proper sort of second town at the moment It's only got one building but because I didn't I didn't even supply this building with power for goodness sake the building has no power the building has you know, no amenities nearby you can't see because no one's actually living in here what, what they actually need, but they don't have anything at the moment. Uh, the research is uh, progressing nicely, uh, occasionally, when a professor decides to, to step in and do some research, but that doesn't happen very often. So what I'm thinking we're going to try and do today is take an opportunity... Uh, to expand upon Universigrad, make it into a, you know, an actual decent town, and see where we go with that. Uh, now, I'm thinking that we do a whole bunch of really nice roads, some other infrastructure is in the way. Is there really any other infrastructure in the way here? Don't look like that to me. Uh, let's not auto-build with rubles, let's just uh, do it all manually. Not like that, thank you. Uh, of course, the advantage of not auto-building with rubles. Need a free excavator. Uh, I do actually know what that means now. I'll buy... Uh, 
That's a bulldozer, not an excavator. I will buy an excavator. Unfortunately, though, that's gonna it's gonna take us further away from a million rubles, but that's the reality of the world that we live in. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing, perhaps, creating a little bit of a slope up here. There we go. And then something like that. Perfect. And so, if we do this, then there's a good chance that we'll be able to fit in a store over here. And then we can have some more prefab buildings uh, in this vicinity. That means that if we have halls of residence, which I do actually want to do, uh, I want to get some students living here. Uh, once we once we get some students, they'll be able to... to have access to the amenities and also the professors who we're going to try and put in the prefab flats here. Uh, at the moment, our priority is to do the technical university, so it's a little bit annoying that we're going to be building sort of away from the technical university. But that is the unfortunate reality of the world that we live in. As long as the people are able to walk the 300 meters or so from their house to the technical university, I don't think we'll have any problems whatsoever. And as long as they're also able to walk the 300 meters to their to their shopping, then then that's also fine. Uh, so, without further ado, let's have a little look at amenities. Residential buildings, well, we're going to need a little grocery store. Can't build you to infrastructure. For real, though? Okay, good. So that's in there. Uh, then we're going to need a small store, which similarly, hopefully, will be pretty easy to build. Oh, come on. Okay, that will also fit. Small store, that's great. Maybe we can get a path up here as well, down the back. And then also, we want a pub, because if there's one way to... Uh, apply Soviets, it's with alcohol. Okay, and I'm actually okay with the pub being out here. Great. Okay, so the pub goes there. Now, we gotta bear in mind that all of this stuff will probably need to import resources unless we connect up the road network over here. I mean, it is technically connected. I suppose food is just produced over here, and meat is just produced over here, so there's not actually any particular reason uh, that we're not able to get this area set up. Okay, let's, um, I was really hoping that we'd hit a million. I was really hit, uh, hoping that we'd hit a million before we, uh, before we, before we started spending some money. Gravel, concrete, asphalt. Unfortunately, we're going to need asphalt to do all of this. And we don't actually, at the moment, have any capability to produce asphalt. That is something that I do want to do. Uh, but it's not something that I think we want to focus on. Now, alright, let's just fund all the stuff with rubles. There we go. Fund it all with rubles. 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 Yeah, okay, good. Wonderful. Okay, it's all done. It's all done, and truth be told, it cost us less than 100 grand, so that's actually kind of okay. Let's have a look at getting some more residential buildings. We want to get our standard... Is that our standard model? 143 is the maximum, I think, that we can get. I think that's what we're after, right? Yeah. Now, I've tried to put in a building here before, but that never worked, unfortunately. It was just too tight. Uh, let's increase this height here. And then let's try and get it somewhat level. Okay. Level, average... Okay, good. Yeah, if we can get it a little bit more level, then that will just assist with our building. 174. That is... You know what? That might actually just be the flat that is required. That flat is bigger than the the one that stands up. The That one. You know what? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this one. We might only be able to fit a very small number in here. Okay. 
Okay. Can we move it any closer? That's pretty good. It's pretty darn good going. If I do say so myself. Raise this corner here a little bit. Takes a little while to do it, but no matter. Okay, good. And then let's get another massive, massive flat. Do I want to turn it the other way around? I do actually. All right, hold on. I actually... Oh, this is what this is what I want to do. Uh, yeah, so cancel this. Suspend construction. And cancel construction. Well, demolish, actually. Yeah, perfect. Suspend construction. Demolish. Yep, great. Get rid of that. Okay, so that's what I should have done. I should have said... I want to, to move people over here. But I want to get... Randomly move citizens. No, I don't want to get any citizens. If I can't select which citizens I want to move out here, then there's no point in getting any citizens at all. I'd rather just do it by hand and guarantee that I'll be able to get the citizens that I want. Okay. What does this do? Yeah, not quite sure why... We need that, but hey-ho. Okay, uh, yep, so let's get this also set up over here. There we go. Now, the real question is, can we get a path down the center? That's what's really going to matter. Yep, do that. That works. That works. That works. Beautiful. Can we get a path to connect down here? Yes, we can indeed. Alrighty then. Well, that's pretty darn good, and that's definitely something that we can be happy about. This is probably path overkill, but, you know, it'll, it's only going to cost us a little bit anyway. How much is this going to cost us? 36,000 rubles times two, obviously, because we've got two flats. It's going to be a worthwhile investment. It's just going to take a little while to pay off, but that's fine. So you guys can walk over there. You guys can also walk over there. And everyone can reach this area. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, as I said, do we want to import this food? Or do we want to do it manually via a truck? What worries me is that... Whilst, uh, in... I was waiting to say, we're kind of low on food, because we'd, we'd previously been having issues producing enough of the stuff. But I remarkably think that... We've now... Now that Graingrad has actually come online in a major, major way, I think that we might just be fine for food and alcohol. I mean, alcohol is full. In fact, it's so full that I had to limit the amount of alcohol that we actually are, are making. That's how good we're doing for alcohol. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's great. That's, that's fine, I guess. That's, that's, that's grand. Uh, yeah, ignore that. That was just some fire that got extinguished. Also, what's this here? Let's get this road built. Sure. Invite five immigrants, experts from the Soviet bloc. To be honest, that is going to cost us, like, loads and loads of money. That's going to cost us loads of money. However, it might just be worth us doing it because it's going to be so much easier. Hmm. Okay, well, as long as these guys can all get to this area, then that's fine. I'm kind of... Okay, get rid of that. We don't want any electronics. Purchase resources, yep. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it on auto-purchase. I'm going to leave it on auto-purchase because... It's always a backup, right? We can always have a backup. Let's take it down to 0 0.5 tons of food. And also alcohol, let's take that down as well. Now, we are going to set up... I am going to set up a delivery route here, right? Like, I do want to deliver food and alcohol and resources to this area. However, if we're going to invite immigrants, or even if we're going to invite, I mean, anyone, actually, from from over here, if we redistribute the uh, the smart people... Okay, 
yeah, so the way to do this is pretty darn tedious. I wish I could do it in a in one fell swoop, but unfortunately I can't. Relocate up to five citizens with a university education. Yeah, does this, that work? Okay, that did indeed work. Okay, uh, the building is currently without power, so that is a real problem. Citizens are not able to enjoy culture, unable to visit a church or place of spirituality. That's also not something that I'm aware that I can do anything about at this moment in time, but we'll talk a little bit about that in the future. Okay, uh, can I get this... Yeah, get that in there. And then let's break the cable running from, well, what is that? Oil grad to meat grad? Uh, sorry, oil grad to, yeah, oil, just oil grad. It's running from oil grad out to coal grad. That's cool. Power transformer, no, not a power transformer. Medium voltage switch. That's exactly what I'm after. And then up here. Angle of connection is too sharp. A-OK -okay with me. Right, get that purchased. Uh, we're also going to need to automatically, I say automatically, uh, individually purchase the power transformer. And also this thing, whatever it's called, the substation. Oh, we purchased the road. All right, great. Well, the substation is now up and running, which means that we should have power everywhere. Beautiful. Quality of flats is 77. Average lifespan is 81. That's nothing to complain about, actually. What's the average lifespan over here? 74. The quality is slightly higher, though. Quality of flats. All right. Anyway, uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to try and relocate as many people as we possibly can. Yeah. So now we've got 14 we've got 14 people with a university education. Hold up. I didn't want to do that. Relocate up to 10 citizens. No, I don't why do I why do I now have lots of people without university educations living in this living in this building? Did I do this on purpose? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? This is why I just want to invite immigrants. Right. I'm literally just going to invite loads of immigrants. Okay. It might cost an arm and a leg. However, I think it'll be worth it for my sanity. And also just, just it'll be worth it. Okay. Let's max this building out and then we'll be happy. Okay. So what's, what's everyone's issue? 46 workers can't go to work because of a low education level. Actually, you know what? I did that, and then I thought, we're going to need people with a low education level over here anyway. Because there is no school. Ah, yes, we do need to make sure that there is a school available. That's a very, very good point, video game. Uh, school or kindergarten, unable to get food. I mean... Why does someone not work over here? We've got people with basic education and no education, however... We should definitely have someone to work over here. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we build like a like a little brick flat out here for people with no uh, university education. Sure. You know what? This is gonna be this is gonna be a remarkably nice little neighborhood when it's finished. Okay. Actually, hold up. Cancel construction, demolish that. Yep, demolish that. I've had an idea. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do that. Uh, and we'll do get citizens. Randomly move citizens. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. Yeah, perfect. And finish with rubles. Finish with rubles. Perfect. Okay. So we should still have number of shoppers in the front of the shop. Yeah. Okay, so 27 people. We've got 
you guys are literally just going to work in those three stores. 14 workers without a job. Honestly, workers without a job, that's not a problem. As long as we have like a guaranteed flat that deals with selling the resources to the people with university degrees. This whole system seems very uncommunist. I've got to be honest. This whole system of hierarchy does not seem very good. Look at the number of professors that we've got. Holy cow. Students in the auditorium. Hundreds. University halls of residence still underutilized, but that's not a problem. Look at how many professors we've got. That is glorious. Uh, I did say that I wanted to get a school. Let's do that right now. Eight citizens were unable to get meat. I hope that that will change. You know what? I reduced electronics. I think that we might actually set up electronics to auto-purchase once again. Can I not do half of this? All right, fine. Right, well, we actually will start buying in electronics. Okay, don't limit the amount of either. Okay, people can now pick up electronics. This is a fantastic place to be. Also, maybe we'll make some, some more amenities over here, uh, just for everyone. Uh, no one was able to participate in sport. You know what? Let's just have this open, and then let's just pause the game and think about what we actually want to build. Uh, no kindergarten places available. Yes, we do need to get kindergarten. I'd almost forgotten about that, to be honest. No reason that that can't go over here. Well, actually, there is a reason, and that reason is electricity pylons. What about... What about fitting it down over here somewhere? You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Do that there, sure. Uh, we're also going to need to get a school. So the school can go over here. Can't build you to infrastructure. I don't really want the school to be that far away, though. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do another road up the back here. Okay. Something like that. And then something like this. Too big a climb uphill? Really? Really? This power cable almost certainly will need to be removed. Crossing not allowed? Crossing of what? What am I crossing here? Okay, you know what? That's fine. There we go. Get that flattened. Wonderful. I am shocked that that is allowed. That is an absolute disgrace. Okay, get that funded with rubles. Was that the right type of asphalt road? If it wasn't, it's not a problem. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to build a education-related building. Yep, let's do it. Headquarters of the Communist Party. I do actually want to build a headquarters of the Communist Party at some point. I know I've talked about it, but I kind of want to build it with my own steam, you know? I am legitimately shocked how I cannot build this. Let me get rid of this stinking dirt road for a while. Okay. Get that in there. Perfect. And let's build the required infrastructure. I mean, if I could just get a little cheeky road out there, that would pretty much solve all of our problems. Okay. Build, build, build. Wonderful. And roads. Reconnect that up there. Just a gravel road for now. I know a mud road isn't the best, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, so you... Not able to walk to the... Not able to walk to the school. Students in the classroom, however... Doesn't look like we've got enough teachers. Oh, no, we do. We do have a lot of teachers. That's great. We've got people with university educations coming over here. I would be genuinely shocked if that wasn't the case. 
Uh, one worker can't get to work because there's no kindergarten places available. You know what? That is a bit of a problem. Okay, do that. Medical university. Kindergarten is, like, less of a priority, to be honest. There we go. The lion's share of people will still go to uh, the universities. However, we need to get some teachers over here because if we don't have teachers, then we're going to have problems. And everyone else is just going to start kicking off. And to be honest, maybe we just build like another... Sort of another flat just out here. Yeah, there we go. Build a flat over there. Build it with rubles. And this will randomly move people to to here. And a couple of them have basic education. A couple of them have no education. That's fine. You work there and you work there. Literally that simple. And that should, I think, give us the staff that we need, right? Perfect. Babies at kindergarten. Okay, that's perfect. That's really, really good. Uh, this building does not have power at the moment. That's a little bit annoying given that we have a substation right there. Not a substation, sorry, a transformer. Not a transformer at all. A voltage switch is what I meant. Uh, we can definitely do that. We can definitely get a substation down over here. It's just a little bit of an administrative annoyance. Okay, this is gonna be... Wow, there's a lot of... There's already a lot of voltage, medium voltage switches over here. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's do... Let's do that. Let's do that. Auto purchase it all. Auto purchase that. Perfect. Okay. If they don't have power, they are going to move away. And I don't want them to do that. Okay, so these guys should still be able to get access to food somehow. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see about that. At least they've got power now, right? No, they do not. Now they've got power. Great. Okay, well, you know what? The only way to see how it actually works is to see if it does work. The point is, is that we are flying through. Absolutely flying through our research at the moment. Let's assign a few more people to research. 30 professors max. Yeah, so it does uh, reduce the amount of students that we can uh, that we can have, but that's fine. That's A-OK -okay with me. This whole thing is looking really darn good. Uh, we still need to try and get... Hold up. 29 citizens were unable to get to a pub slash tavern. Uh, pretty sure you should be able to get to a pub slash tavern. The Universigrad pub is open for business. I mean, it's... A little bit busy, presumably, but it's, it's fine anyway. Uh, sport. Uh, we do need to fix sport. Let's see if we can do that. Also, what is this? I don't care about that at all. Well, actually, I kind of do, but I'll deal with that in a little bit. Uh, tennis? Tennis or football? Tennis or football? Either would be fine. If we have the space for 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 either either activity, no, not sure that we do. To be honest, I rotated that and then immediately realized that they're both. Uh... All right, do that. Sure. Right, get it built. Missing staff still. Uh. No connections? There are no connections to this building or is it, or it's too distant. I mean, I can categorically assure you that there are connections to that building. And it's also not too distant. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Alright, you know what? This area is turning into a pretty nice little... Okay, no, no idea why that's the case. Hey ho, this area is turning into a, a pretty nice little place. You know that? It's it's pretty darn good. 
And you know what? The best thing is, is that we are flying through this research. Oh man, this is fantastic. I don't think that my academics are leaving, uh, which is really good. At least they're not leaving very fast. If they are, then woe is me. But, you know, for the most part, they seem to mostly be sticking around. Uh, I don't think that I can build anything else that would keep them entertained. Bus platform, train platform, hospital, no. A radio station. I do actually want to build a radio station. I could build a cinema, actually. Let's build a cinema. I've never built a cinema before. Okay, we clearly need to get the get the bulldozers out, but that's okay because it's evening time anyway. Okay, let's sink this down just a smidgen. Uh, since it's since it's the evening, as I say, can't really see anything. I can't really see anything. Might as well do some terrain modification whilst we have an op the opportunity. Okay, so a cinema. A small shopping center. Ah, interesting. Still doesn't provide alcohol, though. If you could have a booze up in a shopping center, that'd be pretty darn good. Okay. So let's see if this actually works. Do I want to build it there? I mean, I, I leveled all that land. And then pretty much immediately realized that I don't want to do that. Maybe out here. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's build it out here. I didn't even look at the price tag before uh, before I built that. That sounded like a brag, but let me reassure you that it absolutely was not. Okay. Okay, well, this ain't good. I was expecting a little bit of a different result, but... Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, let's see if this works, shall we? That looks good. Hey, it works. It works. Okay, beautiful. So, uh, if we build a footpath, will we have a connection? Visitors waiting in the front? Uh, we might even already have a connection. Nope. Yep. Let's do it. Alright. Well, we got a cinema. We have a cinema. And that looks like... It's gonna help people uh, with entertainment and culture and whatnot. 120 citizens were unable to participate in any sport. I mean, that's kind of by the by. I don't think that's a big deal. Kindergarten is going well. Uh, school is also going well. Nice. Okay, this... Uh, this flat isn't able to access uh, any of the amenities. So I suspect that that flat will end up not being super successful. But, whatever. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. This this whole thing has been a massive success because it allows us to get chemicals. And that is oh so important. Look at how many professors we've got. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And let's not forget how much money we have. Uh, a lot. And we've spent a lot this episode. But Universigrad is actually looking. Look at that. It looks, it looks like a professionally designed town. Almost everyone is getting access to almost all of the services. Almost everyone. Um, yes, speaking of almost everyone getting access to the services, there's something which been which has been annoying me for a little bit now. Uh, and that is the oil production. Now, the oil production has been a staple provider of a large amount of income for a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to sort of let this... I'm going to let this sort of tick away. No research available at the moment from the medical university. There's literally no reason to have a medical university other than to teach people, right? 
I think that's the case. Uh, the point that I was trying to make is that oil production has been rather lacking recently. Not because of us, really, just because uh, we're drawing from the same pool of workers over here. And the trains that are, or that were uh, transporting people to uh, Oilgrad from Potatograd are the same trains. The, the, it's the same trains that are still doing it. And the real problem is, is that most of them, in fact, I think all of them actually, are just literally one carriage trains, which is not good enough. And we need more people to make oil. I mean, we've got tons and tons and tons of fuel. Uh, and we've got 900 tons of oil backlogged. I've, I've got to imagine that almost every of almost every oil rig uh, will be backed up to that same extent. So what I'm thinking that we try and do, uh, just briefly here, is try and get ourselves uh, another depot, I think. I think we'll probably want to get another depot. It's been... It feels like forever since we last put down a depot. But it would be good to get one in here. I just need to get... I need to tell this game to auto-build. But it's always good not to auto-build, you know? Alright, sticking in one time speed. And let's see what we've got. So, we'll have entrance in, the, in that side. Exit at that side. We will put a signal right there. We will put a signal right here. Okay. So, let's get that built as well. Perfect, and then as soon as we get a train coming in past next time, are you on your way to Oilgrad? No, you're not. You're on your way to Meatgrad. Yeah, see, that's another thing. I'm not sure that we need as many people as we currently have working in Meatgrad. Well, maybe we do. You know, maybe we do. Right, maybe we do. Maybe we need that many people. You're going to Colgrad, that's fine. Okay, any anyone to Oilgrad? You're going to Oilgrad, okay, good. Can I get you to go to the depot? Or are you going to get super confused? I think you might get super confused, because there's no real way to path to that depot from here. Right, cancel the depot. Go to there. And you're going to Oilgrad as well. Okay, now I'm in a little bit of a predicament because... I want to... I want to... get the tracks crossed over. Maybe, you know what, maybe I get two depots. One at this side and one at this side. Or maybe I just ditch this depot entirely. Because the problem is, is that I don't want this train, well, the train that's coming with 95 workers. Those workers need to be delivered. Like, that is probably the top priority, I think. You're loading up 100% of fuel? Okay, great. Okay, so we've got two trains that do uh, bitumen and fuel. And then we've got one train that just does exclusively fuel. Okay, great. I'm glad that past me was thinking about that. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to install, like, a little system which allows us to get from here to, to like, here. Alright, this, okay, you know what? I take it back. That's, that's a horrible idea. Maybe? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, sure. Whatever. How bad could it be? Famous last words, right? Yep, already we're starting to see that's how bad it can be. This is this is the problem that we have with uh, tracks crossing over. It's an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get you over here. Thankfully, this area of track isn't hugely used, so the, f the chances of, a, a, you know, the trains backing up is quite minimal. Let's get you to go over there. Perfect. Great. Uh, also, how are trains doing over here? No train problems, nothing. This has been working, presumably, since the very start of the episode. I've not even looked once. 
Oh, hold up. Hold up, we got a train waiting over here. Looks like that was a justified wait. Not entirely sure what could have been causing it. Oh, it was something over... There was a train over uh, on the oil... On the oil track. Yeah, you know, we should really duel that. There's literally no excuse for us, us dueling that now. Now that we've got money. But, hey-ho. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? See, this is the problem. This is the problem. Also, is this... Is this configured correctly? This is not configured correctly. That's not configured correctly at all. Uh, yeah, and now we're starting to see the problem that I didn't want to see happen. Uh, but we are seeing happen. Because it counts this track as a track where there can be a collision. And, you know, there, there can be a collision. But if we can't play signals here, then I'm afraid there's not much I can do about it. Uh, can't place a signal there. Can place a signal there. Delete that signal there. There we go. Do that there. Okay. At least we'll get this train out of the way. Yeah. This is this is why I don't like this. This is why I don't like this system. I'm gonna delete this track. Because it's very irritating. We it's all right if we have like single tracks that just merge onto the to the same bit. Why? Right, whatever. Okay. Anyway, we need to we need to get this train a little friend, and we might even be in a position to offer a slightly better uh, train. What is what is this? Currently classified as. I don't even know what this... This is an MV80. Is it a motor wagon? MV80 motor wagon, yeah. I mean... 95 passengers, is there... A train set, 60 passengers? There's still... The motor wagon is still far and away the best thing, right? Yeah, how is the motor wagon the best thing? There's the DR thing, the DR class V VT 2.09, but that's only for 68 passengers. It does go slightly faster. But whatever. Uh, tram. I mean, that tram is is good, but it goes at 45 kilometers per hour. Uh, and it would need us to electrify the entirety of the track. Okay, let's put that in there. Let's set you to go to Oilgrad because there's no other way to do it. Let's do that. Okay, Potato Grad needs to only load workers and not workers with a university education. In fact, it's literally just loading. Okay, good. Hopefully no issues there, right? Okay, you need to go... Oh, hold up. See, this is why I wanted this. This is why I wanted this uh, opposing line. Because it's much easier to... It's much easier to catch the trains on the way back. Sorry, how are you not able to get through here? I think that this signal is still stuck in... Stuck in time. Still has the old track crossing over thing over there, so we'll change that. Perfect. All right. I don't love the placement of this depot, but it's good enough. It'll have to do. Or will it? Or will it have to do? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty garbage, to be honest. All right. You know what? It's not going to do. I've decided it's not going to do. Do that there. And then let's get... Ah, oh, this is not going to work, is it? I was hoping maybe we could do... Something sneaky, something special. No, that's not going to work. Okay, delete this. 
I'm gonna have to think better about how to do my depot. Because I, I don't think that this depot is uh, is a particularly good place for a depot at the moment. It's not not doing a great job. Ooh. You're going to meet Grad. You're going to meet Grad. Your friend is coming back from meet Grad. That's great. This is the brand new rolling stock that we've got, which is lovely. Yeah. Yeah, not a great, not a great place for a depot. Okay, let's think about this. You know what, let's just put a depot at the other side. There's no reason not to. This is a really stupid place for a depot. I, you know, I... I don't want to say that I placed it and then almost immediately regretted it, but, I mean, that would be a very true telling of the events. Okay, you know what? Do it right there. Let's see if we can get the... See if we can get that connected. You know what? Sure. I think we can get it to overlap at the same place. Right. Right. See if that works. Also, need to get ourselves some road. Replacement road. Oftentimes, there's a replacement uh, road service. And this is the same sort of service that we're offering right now as well. So we got double depots. We've gone from a situation where we have one depot, and now we've got three depots, all within the course of about an episode. I mean, there's no about about it, is there? Okay. So that's good. We can't place a signal there. But that shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. It is a little bit sort of congesty, but... Signal's in the way. Maybe we could feed into that there as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's try and feed into that too. This is sort of trying to future-proof the system. And then we can just have the same lead out. I don't actually necessarily hate that. Also, we have been having consistent issues with this bridge. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, the thought has just occurred to me, however, that if we sort of double up our bridges, as in we add a, an extra south bridge and then an extra north bridge, then we'll have the same problem when it comes to tunnels. And with tunnels, we're not going to be able to have the, the room to double, double up our tunnels. I think the way that we solve this problem, the way that we solve this problem is literally just by uh, having more trains. Uh, sorry, no, having fewer trains, but longer trains. Okay. Go to that depot there, please. The Universograd Depot 2 and the Universograd Depot 1. Yeah, see, we've got 27 oil workers. Like, that is not showing the, you know, appropriate amount of respect to the oil industry. I mean, we are very, very much reliant on the oil industry at the moment. Okay, that there, that there. And you're going to Potato Grad. Great. First stop is unreachable. You said you were going to Potato Grad. Why are you not going to Potato Grad? You... The first stop is unreachable. Ah, oh, what a joke. Okay. I was hoping to avoid doing this all over again, but hey-ho. Yeah, go there. And then go here. It's pretty much that simple, video game. Okay, just get me everyone without a university education, and that's perfect. Alright, happy days. Happy, happy days. Yeah, so, if we were to double up our bridges, then that would just leave us in the same position. Where we just don't have, we just don't have the capacity for the for tunnels. Because uh, only one train can go in the tunnel at once, as far as I'm aware. Uh, there's no way that we can sort of double up a tunnel, is there? The building is in the way. I presume that building is indeed the field. Um, yeah, so tunnels have a, an inherent 
disadvantage. There's only one train that can be in the tunnel at any one moment. Not a great, not a great, not a great ability, to be honest. Are these trucks ever going to be let through? They've not got that much meat on them, but, you know, they're fine. Also, yes, I know I do need to set up the deliveries for Universigrad, but I think I'll just do that off camera. Oh my, holy cow. Look at that. That's great. 141 citizens, 169 citizens, 167 citizens. I don't think anyone's moving away. Or if they are, they're moving away at such a rate that I don't even care about it. Which is perfect. Uh, this is our first delivery to oil uh, to oil grad with uh, the brand new three train setup. You need to, by the way, go to the depot. Why did you stop there? Not quite sure why that was the case. But there we go. Okay. Let's buy some more of these wagons, line them up, and dispatch. First stop is unreachable, because of course it is. You know what? Your first stop was unreachable as well. Right. Copy that. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's over here. There's too many train depots. It's confusing as heck. Okay, there we go. Now you can go. Beautiful. Alright, too many windows. Too many windows open at once, but it's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this under control. Our unemployment figures are the best that they have ever been. That is crazy. That is absolutely bonkers. That is really, really good. I am so happy with this. Death escapes. Where are people escaping to? 16 births. I mean, that's not too bad. Our population has uh, increased dramatically, uh, primarily because of the fact that we had, we invited a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of people over here. Okay. We're almost done with fuel. How much fuel have we got over here? We got a heck of a lot of fuel. Not a heck of a lot of bitumen. Which is what we're waiting for. You know what? Go to... Go to there. Sure. Yeah. So, basically, I'm on a mission to try and fix oil. That's... That's the mission. Uh, also, I want to... I want to fix this road system here. We're gonna need to redo this, unfortunately. Uh, I think having two tunnels here slows us down too much. I mean, the bridges are... Basically, you have to have the bridges. Uh, there is no other way to cross over this body of water here. However, we can double or even triple up the bridges. However, having tunnels here is a little bit unnecessary. Hmm, yeah. Alright, you know what? Things are looking pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with this. 68 workers going to oil grad. That's okay. Um... We want to try and find a way to get more workers over here, but not able to do that quite yet. I don't know why. I don't know why we're not transporting more people. Nine workers waiting over there. Thirty-three over here. We're transporting a fair number, to be honest. A lot of them are students. To be honest, we should probably have a student service from here to Universigrad. That would be a very, very good idea, actually. Let's do that. Let's make it a bumper student service. Four carriages. This is going to be my only four-carriage train. It's going to cause an absolute nightmare. But I want to test the network. I want to test the network that we've established and see if it'll, see if it'll crumble, which it almost certainly will. Okay, come here. I want you to pick up students. Literally just students, please. Yep. And then let's go to Universigrad. Yep. And then you can unload. Perfect. All right. This is a fun little experiment, isn't it? And that will radically, radically, radically reduce the amount of... Uh, where should citizens... 
Where should students be trying to get into school slash university? I mean, here? You can only send students to school. Okay, so I can't, okay, whatever. I, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play around with that. I just wanna see if my extra long uh, train carriage will end up working. Extra long train carriage locomotive, I guess. All right, stick that in double speed. And let's see, let's sit back and watch. It does look pretty darn good though, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe this could be the first of many. We do have that longer uh, train, by the way, that goes from uh, Kolgrad to, well, up to near uh, Industry Grad for the coal delivery. That's the longest train on the route. And that seems to work. That seems to work pretty flawlessly, so I'm kind of hopeful that this thing will work pretty flawlessly. Yep. Actually, hold up. I do don't think it will. I do not think that there is any way to cross over from here to here to get on the, the right track on the way back. Uh-oh. I did not ever contemplate this happening. All right, that's... I was trying to test the network, and you know what? The network, it failed. Uh, now, are we going to be able to cross this over at any point? Signals are in the way. I can remove signals to my own at my own peril to be honest but I can do it crossing is not allowed uh yeah this is a funky one honestly signals are in the way here All right ditch that Signals are in the way yet again. Right, the more signals we remove, the more chaos we introduce into the system. Okay, that does actually end up working. Let's fund that. I actually think that that might be fine. Okay, let's give that a bash. Yeah. Let's give that a bash. See if that works. Okay, we've not really changed anything. But it should give the train an easy route. And we've still got 125 students on board, which is great. These guys all have basic education, and they're all ready to... They're all ready to learn, which is the main thing. Yeah, see, this is ridiculous. These trains are not going anywhere near each other. But because they're traveling on the same stretch of track that connects with this and then connects with that, and ah, uh, it's just uh, what a mess. It just doesn't seem doesn't seem right. Right. This is the party the party train, the student party train. Right. Let's put it in double time speed. Sure. Through a tunnel, which is going to get removed. Well, maybe not soon, but certainly it should be soon. Like, we want to remove it pretty much as soon as possible. That is a pretty steep incline to go up, though, and we know how train tracks deal with inclines. They don't deal with them very well. Uh, but that's fine. No issues whatsoever over here. I say that. Ah, we've now got an issue. We have now got an issue. And the issue is... This train is not going to work unless we find some way of moving this signal forward. That actually remarkably ended up working. I mean, I'm pretty sure that having a four-carriage long train on the network is a very, very bad idea, to be honest. But, it, I mean, it is what it is, right? Oh my goodness. Advanced engineering allows you to build assembly halls where you construct your own vehicles from components. Create your own electronics. Sure, we'll get that, I guess. Yeah, and also, this is another aspect of what uh, we haven't considered. The entire network at the moment is catered for uh, trains of four carriage, uh, three carriage length at the absolute max. 
three carriages would work perfectly here. But unfortunately, uh, it just doesn't work like that. So we've ended up making a huge mistake. A huge mistake. An absolutely huge mistake. Right. I really do not want to fix this. Can I sell this train? That's not a mistake that I would like to repeat. It was an experiment, though. Uh, you know what? A two-carriage train seems very, very reasonable. But anything more than that sounds just ridiculous, to be honest. And if we have a... Uh, if we have a train that takes us, that takes students from both stations, I think that that is probably fine. So, we want to take only students, pretty much only students anywhere. Yep, there we go. Start. Okay, you know what? I feel like that is a pretty, that is a pretty upbeat, happy note to end the episode on. Our, our universities are absolutely blowing through research, which is just fantastic. Uh, we got a heck of a lot of professors. Obviously, we can get more. I mean, we are getting more, actually, as soon as these guys are educated up to the to the level of uh, to the level of university education. Then they're going to get promoted, and they're going to get promoted to be professors, and then they're going to teach other kids other interesting things. And everyone's going to be smart, and everyone's going to have a university education. Our unemployment figures uh, temporarily went up. I think that's probably because I faffed around with a bunch of stuff and could have been a little bit more efficient than I actually was. But you know what? I'm sure it'll fluctuate. Last month, the unemployment stats were slightly lower. But you know what? That's okay. The whole system is fine. We're doing, we're doing good with our oil production. We're actually getting on top of that. All three of our oil trains are currently away, which is great because it means that they're transporting goods to the border and that means money. Look at this. Ever since increasing the length of the carriage, it has absolutely made a difference. Look at that. We're going to have over 300 workers in this oil refinery for the first time ever, I think. And, you know, we started the episode with 900,000 rubles. We're ending it with over 600,000. Is that not fantastic? Is that not absolutely fantastic? Tell me that's not absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you right now, that is absolutely fantastic. Everything is absolutely fantastic in the glorious Soviet Republic of Potato Grad. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over to Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.